Ryan, you've got AJ coming off his best game yet, uh, Julio back in the mix. Uh, both of those guys missed big chunks of the last game with the Colts. How much will it help this offense having both of those guys ideally on Sunday? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, obviously, uh, they're, they're huge playmakers for us, so having them out there is, is best case scenario. So, um, you know, hopefully we can get them both out there and, and playing big for us. They made huge plays for us at different times, both of them throughout the season. So, um, you know, hopefully we can lean on them again. Guys, obviously want to take care of the football, but with the Colts so good at taking the ball away, I think they've got like 16 takeaways already. Is that an extra point of emphasis this week as you go into the game? Yeah, no doubt. Obviously, you mentioned the, the number of turnovers that that defense has, has gotten so far. Early in the season, they're going after it. You know, you see them hammering at the football, you know, almost every rushing play. There's somebody coming in, hammering at the football, 53 especially, does a really good job. He's accurate with it, and um, he creates a lot of fumbles, you know, due to the hammer. So uh, that, and then, you know, they're making plays on the back end as well. So we have to be smart, have to be secure with the football, and um, and take care of it. Passing game's gone up a level, it seems, with the A.J. back end. How much of a difference does he make with the separation and, and for the play action? Yeah, no doubt. A.J.'s been huge for us. You look at the past couple weeks and what he's been able to do, um, you know, he's making plays. He's getting himself open. Uh, he's great with the ball in his hands and, and made some big plays down the field for us this last week. So, I mean, he's an all-around player for us and, and made huge plays and want to keep it going. What's, what's, what's been the difference, do you think, Ryan? Sack numbers to go down so drastically. What's different, you said? Yeah, well, what's changed? Why have the sack numbers gone down so drastically? Um, we're playing better football. You know, as the season goes on, you know, you look at um, lessons learned and, and – um, you know, being efficient, getting the ball out, um, not being in long yardage situations, and uh, trying to help your O line out, and then they're obviously blocking them whenever we do drop back. So uh, it all works together, and um, I'm glad I'm glad it's working that way. What's been the difference, uh, Ryan? Do you think you touched on AJ there? The production has jumped so much the last two weeks. Do you think it's a uh, just a matter of him being healthier, or you know, is it more reps that you get? Two guys have had anything you can point to, you know, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, no, definitely not more reps. You know, I feel confident throwing throwing the ball. Um, we've had thousands of reps over the past couple of years, so uh, I think more than anything is is more opportunities that he's getting. You know, we're getting a little bit of a groove offensively. You know, moving the football, so that's going to create more opportunities. And then you know, he's he's feeling better. You know, obviously he was out for a few few weeks with uh, with an injury, so uh, to get him back and get him healthy was huge. But a deep ball like the one down the left sideline, AJ, the other day. How quickly do you know? It's on target, and, and what tells you that? Is it just a feel thing? Yeah, just a feel thing. Um, usually, you know, when you let it go, either you feel really good about it, or it's kind of like maybe, you know, uh, that one I felt really good about, and, and thankfully, AJ, you know, went and got it for me. Even those ones, though, that seem maybe, it, do you feel like a guy like AJ Brown, you can count on him for some of those that come out, and you just may not know if it's going to be catchable? Yeah, no doubt. You know, look at our, our receivers really have big physical targets all the way around pretty much. So uh, when you have that kind of size and and uh, skill outside and guys that can play the ball in the air, you know, feel really good about, okay, it's tight coverage. Um, I need to put it up. may not be a perfect throw, but I trust my guy to, to go make a play. So um, definitely having those those guys outside that have shown that they can go make plays is huge. What have you seen from the Colts maybe since you guys last played them? And, and what, what, what do you kind of know what you're getting when you, when you face off against them? They're playing really good ball right now. And you look at their last four games, you know, they're playing really good ball. Defensively, they've, they've always been sound, right? They're, they're not going to give you anything. They're going to play their game and, um, and play really sound football. Obviously, the turnovers have been huge for them, so that's going to be a point of emphasis for us is, is to be smart with the football and, and take care of it and um, you know, take advantage of the, the opportunities that we do get. Um, they don't give you anything, so you have to earn it. But when you do get plays against a, a good defense that you can make, you got to take advantage of them. What's it been like having Michael Pruitt back? He seems to have a bigger role this year than he did last year, and he just came in right before the season started. Oh, it's been huge. He's he's played big for us. Um, you know, had to play down the middle last week. Huge play, obviously the touchdown catch down the red zone. He's a kind of a do-it-all guy for us. Um, you know, probably gets more credit as a blocking guy, but as you saw last week, you know, can get himself open and and make plays in the pass game as well. So thankful to have him back on our side. I have the advantage of having a three-game lead on the division this early, I guess, well, midway through the season. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a long season, but uh, division opponent on the road, team that we respect and is playing really good ball right now. This is a big game for us, no doubt. 
before, uh, after uh, a win like you guys had over the Chiefs, a lot of guys will stand there and say, hey, you know, we want our respect. We want the league to recognize us as a premier team. But that's not the case now. Is there like a shift in mindset to where we just got to put it behind us and go to the next game? Like, what's, what's with that? Yeah, no doubt. I think we're seven games into a, a long season. So uh, we need to keep improving, keep getting better week in and week out. We need to be playing our fo best football, you know, late into the year. So uh, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, it's a good start, um, but um, you know, it doesn't matter what you've already done. It matters what you're going to do next. So I uh, have to be able to build on the momentum that we've kind of created, but at the same time, stay hungry, um, stay, stay fighting for, for ways to improve each and every day in practice, in the meeting room, and then go out and play well on Sunday. Ryan, I know you guys don't get too concerned with, you know, outside recognition and, and whatnot, but uh, last week there was kind of a lot of chatter about Derek not being a 99 on, on Madden, uh, just in terms of, you know, the hot start being on pace for 2K again. Uh, I was wondering if you had kind of seen that discourse and if, if you had any thoughts on uh, Derek not being a 99. They put him at 98, but they didn't put him at 99. Yeah, I don't play too many video games. I had no idea on the... Uh on the Madden ratings there. Um, but Derek's obviously a heck of a player. And, um, you know, I, I have no idea how the, the Madden ratings work, but he's, he's a heck of a player and probably deserves to be 99. But Do you critique his, his pass uh, at the goal line and, I mean, as far as the spiral? And, and what do you say? I don't know if it was a spiral or not, but it was on the money. You know, he had some guys kind of falling back off, and he, uh, he threw a nice ball over the top, and, and Michael made a play on it. So definitely kudos to Derek for a good ball there. How much do you lobby for that play to be run maybe later this season, considering how wide open you were? There was another guy who was open. Uh, there were lots of options on that yeah, play. No doubt he had his choice. Unfortunately, it wasn't me. You go back to the huddle and say, hey, man, you know, receivers, I'm sure, do that to you all the time. Yeah, I probably should have. I can't, I can't complain because it was a touchdown, but, you know, if he overthrew him out of the back of the end zone or something, I'm out of game a little piece of my mind.